Hello again Subaru Impreza fans. Today we have an interesting model because I thought it was a different brand. I thought this was uh, made by Aoshima because Aoshima has a line of these Itasha cars. But uh, the base of this is from CMs and it literally says CMs on the bottom. And so I did an internet search and yeah I found a website listing this as a CMs branded model. So I just never knew that CMs made uh, a collection of Itasha cars. So I know them for their rally cars and some Lambos, but uh, this is a new one to me, so it makes me wonder how many other Atasha cars they may have made. Not that Atasha is really something I like, you know, it's kind of weird actually, where they take these Japanese cartoons and plaster them all over their cars. I don't know what cartoon franchise this is. I can't read Japanese. Even if I could, I wouldn't care it's just like a weird little cartoon girl so the car itself we're looking at in these photographs is a 2006 uh, facelifted second generation Impreza WRX so it would have come with a 2.5 liter flat 4 turbocharged all-wheel drive making over 300 horsepower so a pretty cool car for sure at least in the photographs so I tried something new today. My LED light booth is so bright, it's so I can barely see what's going on in my phone screen. So I put a piece of paper across the whole thing and it dimmed it down. Uh, I'm not sure what it's gonna, you know, how it's gonna end up on YouTube, but we're gonna find out. So let's see if this works out better or not. So the wheels here, they look good. They look like those Pro Drive wheels. Five lug nets. Uh, the tires are really slab sided though, I think. It's kind of weird actually. No brakes, of course. Orange reflector here. Oh, and then uh, decent enough panel details. These Atasha things here are decals. You can see the air pocket there. And it's cracked because it's an old model. Uh, the fuel filler is on this side, but the white paint's having a hard time filling it in. Uh, the rear, I mean, the side glass is a little weird. The B pillar doesn't go all the way up because this is part of the window molding, or this is part of the die cast. So maybe this plastic glass isn't pushed up as much as it should be. The casted in mirrors are just painted black, nothing else. STI is looking good here. The little vent there is all right. You got the clear headlights, looks good. The Subaru badge does look good. You can see some of the stars. STI is printed there. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. I'm having an issue now with not enough light. So, at least in my phone screen. So, it's kind of hard for me to t call out what I'm looking at. Because my phone screen is really dark now because it's not enough light. But there's less glare. So, it's like a no-win situation, it seems. Alright, uh, door handles seem okay, some dimensionality to them. The front top, we have that scoop for the intercooler, but no paint there. Wiper blades, they're just printed on actually, they're totally smooth, it's just paint on the outside of this clear plastic. We'll see how that decals, actually a separate piece, or maybe there was plastic here and it cracked off, you know, the graphic? Yeah, see, look, it's all, that's why I don't like decals. I complain about it in all my videos, and this is exactly why. Granted, on this car, I don't really care so much, because I don't really like these decals. But if this was, like, a regular racing car, I'd be pretty annoyed if all the graphics fell off like this. Right, so. All right, so a, a winglet thing here. It seems to be a separate piece. I can see a brake. There's some black paint in these rain gutter gutters up here. Separate wing here, tail lights, good uh, clear red and silver for the backups. License plate, nice, nice license plate, although that doesn't look like any legal license plate. Subaru badge here, must be a decal, STI. Yeah, okay. And then you yeah, have decal on the window there. Uh, it's a press fit base. And CMs is strange in the fact that they don't tell you who made this model or when or what the car even is. It's just like, hey, you have a die cast of something. The tire treads do look good though. And uh, for you Hot Wheels people, it does roll. 
So standard black interior stuff, nice details molded in, just uh, without a flashlight it's going to be hard to see, especially when you, some of the windows are covered in little cartoon girls. So there is a roll cage in there. So I'm going to guess maybe this casting, they did a different livery of an actual WRC rally car. I don't know, actually maybe not. I'll show you. Let's see, I'm trying to like in a second. Alright, well, let me get uh, the spin thing out and we will compare it to other models. So, a CM's branded rally car here. This is a 2006 rally version of this, this car. Same brand, but it actually is a completely different casting. As you can see, it has wider fender flares, vents in front of the wheels, the rear wing. It's just a totally different casting. So I thought they were trying to spread their money around, but no, apparently not. Hmm. I do notice now this B pillar also is cut short. So that's just the way they designed it. It's just not very good. A different brand here. We have a Impreza from the second generation, but pre-facelift or an earlier version. And this is made by BM Creations. And BM Creations on this one will give you a second set of wheels and you can lower the ride height, which I did. And you can steer the front wheels for cool photographs. Unfortunately, the defroster lines on the back are totally unnecessary and totally block the rear view of the interior. I have a dealership car. There's no branding on the bottom other than Subaru WRX STI. So I think this was actually sold at a Subaru dealer. It's a really nice model though. It's got like a weird green hint to the chrome wheels. And the last one is a, like a budget version you can buy today. It's made by JKM. And it's a 2014 uh, Impreza. I don't know if that would make it the fourth generation. I don't know. Please leave a comment if you know. So let's get a top view here. Well, it's a decent enough casting. It's just kind of ruined by the decals. And this is actually a forewarning to any of you new collectors or old collectors. All these new premium brands like Inno 64 and Spark Mo Sparky, they use, in Tarmac Works in many instances, they use decals. So those are expensive die cast cars. And they're going to probably have the same problems as this one. Eventually the decals are going to crack. And then your, your die cast becomes worthless. If you actually think you're going to like make money selling old castings. So just a forewarning to you. This collecting die cast cars. Probably not the best financial sense in my opinion. You should buy gold. <laughs> you shouldn't buy toys. But hey what do I know. I don't, I don't know. I buy these more for fun. If I make money off of them, that's great. But I don't actually expect to. Specifically for things like this. Poor decisions in uh, making a model. So I'm just going to even exaggerate this even more. You see this giant air pocket here. Alright. Now if this was a tarmac works of a rally car that I really enjoy. Or an Inno 64. 10, 20 years from now, same thing is going to happen to that thing. So, for you fellow reviewers, please start complaining about decals. Decals are horrible. They don't make sense for long-term collectability, you know? It's just a cheap way for people to get something that looks nice that only lasts a few years. But, like, even Hot Wheels does tampo printing, right? So, it's really lame that these premium brands are charging 20 30 bucks or whatever and they're putting decals on knowing 
that they're going to end up looking like this in the future. All right. Okay, that's my rant for the day. At least it was fun learning that um, CMs made some a different thing, a Natasha car. So that's something for all of us to learn today. I'm also also noticing putting the piece of paper in front of that uh, LED light mm, is significantly slowed down this solar spinner. So I'm going to remove that piece of paper. And so the solar spinner can work. So, boy, I might have to just continue with the old ways. <sighs> Meaning I don't know what I'm looking at because this, this light is a little too bright. Yeah, well. Hopefully someday I'll figure out my methods. And there's no rule book on how to review toy cars. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you the next time I get to CMs.